Time's up being a little bitch. Skinny bitch Chris is walking out the door. Only a little bit skinny bitch Chris is walking through the new door. So, time's up being pussy and stay huge. How do you stop being a pussy? What? How do you stop being a pussy? General advice for everyone out there. By accepting that you are a pussy. By not fighting the pussy inside you. You will then not be a pussy. Oh. How old is this? What does it look like? Mm. I've seen these drawings, but it... My shoebies! Is that literally how the show was? That, yeah. like, that cheesy? It was, it was pretty cheesy, to be honest. I think that's probably easier. That also fits with all the white text. Oh, yeah. What is up, YouTube? This is the secret to warming up your knees when you're old. You get a nice knee bend and push down. I'm getting old. Just took five days off training or so. And I don't know why that taking time off training usually should feel you leaving rested, but it leaves me feeling tired, tighter and more broken than I was before. But I'm sure it was still good for my nervous system to take a break. Got my blood work done on Saturday. Should be getting the results in the next few days. See if I'm healthy or not, hopefully. Fingers crossed, I've been feeling pretty good. But yeah, today's leg day, getting back into it. I'm gonna slowly ease back into this because it's been two weeks since I've done a full leg day. Five days since I've trained at all, so I'm not gonna kill myself today, but we'll see where I'm at. I'm already out of breath doing 30 seconds on the stairs, so we're off to a good start. Hopefully I'm not weak as shit, but we'll see. So, stay tuned. a lot of cardio. First exercise, single leg quad extension, two sets of 20 reps or more. I hit 23 on the first set, 21 on the second, just trying to get a lot of volume right now, and then moving on to the hack, well, no, mid machine squats, that's what it is. Had to do it. This is one of the best warm ups that you didn't know you needed before squatting. It really helps you in the bottom of the hole, prevent a butt wink, and just stay stable and loose when your groin's tight and your sphincter and all that kind of shit. Whatever the muscles are called, fucks you up. This helps you get deep into a squat. Squat. Got to love them. Also, one of the first pair of young LA shorts that fit me in my options. So I love these. I think they're called like the autobiography. I'm trying to look cool like Range Rover or something. But they actually fit really good. I don't know what they're actually called. Something to do with that. But they're dropping June 23rd, 3 p.m. Eastern. We go see them.
Lower. Lower? Your tailbone has to crack when it hits the ground. You have to touch the ground? It has to crack when it hits the ground. Like, if I had to poop, it wouldn't fall. It would just lift, sit and fall onto the ground. Yeah. No, no air time. Five plates is gonna be heavy, but that four plates felt like two weeks ago with five plates, so this will be interesting. But time's up being a little bitch. Skinny bitch Chris is walking out the door. Only a little bit skinny bitch Chris is walking through the new door, so time's up being a pussy and stay huge. It's really ghetto. I lost one of each knee sleeve. I need to go to the raw warehouse to get more because these are kind of nice. But right now, they're a little bit uneven. But gotta save the knees, so close enough. I did this two weeks ago and they worked. Just don't judge me. At least my socks match. I feel like it was actually only like 11. I didn't think over 10 kills. But I was trying to do really close, almost like a front squat close stance. So really emphasis my quads and on the hack squat. You push a little bit knees over toes, which again puts more emphasis on the quads. So second set, which is high volume, close stance. I'm trying to burn my quads. Now I'm gonna pass out, so give me a second to breathe. All right, third exercise, second compound movement, single leg leg press. This is Cybex machine, I think it is. I don't know if it's the best leg press. Very simple, just straight line movement. I'm doing one leg at a time, partly because I'm too lazy to put that many plates on. Secondly, because I can get a little bit more range of motion, just focus on each leg. Prevent one from being a little lopsided, especially because I have a tight erector on my right side right now, which can cause me to favor my left leg. So avoiding that by doing one leg at a time. I don't know what else I'm saying, but this shit gets hard. You feel a lot more in your upper quad when you push slowly with one leg, so.
absolutely miserable. I'll tell myself it's easier because I don't have plates on, but it's also harder because I have to do double the amount of reps. But I don't know. I got nothing there right now. Feels good. Legs are growing. Maybe, maybe not. It's so hard to breathe when you're lying in it and your knee is coming to crush your diaphragm and <sighs> my neck hurts. I'm not putting it on the pad. It's a rough day. Wow. My quads are so tired right now. I felt so light but hard. All right, so moved on from the single leg leg press, moving on to superset. I warmed up a little bit with adductors just to get ready for squats, but I didn't want them to be burning too hard because then you're just uncomfortable and squatting feels like shit. So we're going to finish up with squat extensions, adductors, calves, and then go home and cry. Maybe get in the cold tub and cry and have some cereal and cry again. Muscular endurance drops quickly from taking time off. But my knees hurt at the beginning, but they hurt less now. So hopefully it was just a warm up and maybe the time off actually helped my knees. But I am a true believer that every now and then you need to take like a week off the gym. Every now and then I mean like maybe once or twice a year. It's not like every week or every month I should say, but it helps. So if you feel beat up, over exhausted, you're not sleeping, maybe take a little bit more rest or don't be a pussy. I'll just get a hoochies. Okay, comment below if I need to cut my fucking hair off because it's just annoying at this point. I wear a hat all the time. It never looks good. But I'm also balding. If like this crazy. video gets a million likes, you have to shave your head completely. If this video gets a hundred thousand likes, I will cut my mullet off. I don't necessarily know about going bald. Cut, though, man. Like I'll have no I'll do a fade all the way around and shorten the top. I'll I cut the get hundred dollars. I'll cut the mullet. It's pretty easy. I don't think it's gonna get hundred thousand. Okay, well a million you have to shave your head. Okay, a million likes, I will fucking go chrome dome bald. <laughs> if it happens I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Courtney's gonna cry more though. I almost cut my hair and then I saw balding now, not only here but on the top of my head. And I had a panic attack. So I'm afraid to cut my hair because the long hair is hiding it right now. When are you going to Turkey? I'm going to Turkey in February. So I'm going to look like fucking, I don't even know, who's a young, attractive man? Brad Pitt? Wait, Minus February? the good lookingness. Just great hair. It's next year. Yeah, 2023. Want to come in? Uh, maybe. Can I film it? I'm supposed to document it because it's like a collab. Cool. It's the best place in the world who does it. They have like a technique that's super fancy, but I'm gonna look fucking youthful as fuck. So I'm, like, I'm really excited for that actually. Apparently it's a miserable experience, but I'll have hair after, so it'll be cool. I'm just gonna take the hair from my head. From your head? Yeah. Give me black Asian hair. <laughs> Intermixed with my curly fucking dry ass frizzy hair. My pinky toe there. Well, it's sometimes good to wear shoes during calves, but shoes are for the week. So finishing off with some seated calves. For some reason, this machine just feels so much better on my calves. So when I train calves, I do this machine, 
66% of the time. So two thirds of the time I use this. Every other time I use like standing or a straight leg something because it hits different parts of the calf. But every year is the year of the calf, as you guys know. So trying to get huge. All right, so calves, doing a total of five sets. First two with four plates, really heavy. My goal is just to do some heavy sets. My bro science thinking, if you walk all day on your calf, which is like high volume, so you need to get some low volume, heavy weight reps out, but you don't get that like painful burn from that. So then I drop it down to three, and I do three sets there, just until my calves feel like they're cramping and hurt like a bitch, which they're getting there right now at like 12 to 15 reps. And then we call it a day, and hope your calves grow. That's all we can do. Is Dream and hope because it's not like hard work makes cats grow, right? How much would you sell this pack of gum for with your signature? Whatever shipping rates are. Postage. Pay for postage, you can have this pack of gum. If this video gets 20,000 likes, you're gonna do a giveaway for this pack of gum. For this exact pack of gum, yeah. yeah. Have you had one piece yet? Yes, I have. Chew half a piece and put it back in. It's actually a fancy gum. It comes with little pieces of paper to dispose of your gum with after. So I could chew it, wrap it in here, and then put it back, close it, and ship it to you. Give me away a pack of gum. <laughs> Life is miserable. Want some gum? Um, is it organic? Yep. Is there no sweeteners? There is some organic cane sugar. So, wait. I thought you said you're not allowed to have sugar. I've been eating it since I got the test back. I'll have a piece. Made of chicle root fiber, so there's no. Did you know that plastic L gum has plastic in it? Even if they don't tell you it does. It looks like cigarettes. Yeah, they're like brown. Are you a dart assassin like Post Malone and have 45 cigarettes a day? I have like 20 Daryls every day. All right, so Calvin forgot to film an intro because he wanted to just leave yesterday. Someone's trying to scam me right now. If you get a text saying delivery for Chris, it's a scam. Don't click it. I almost fell for it before. But you forgot to film an intro, so it's the day after right now and. We're filming a fake outro, eating some spaghetti squash, bison, I'm not supposed to be eating beef, and white rice with a little bit of macadamia nut oil. And there wasn't here at work today. But I wanted to mention that we've been building out an ambassador program for RAW so that people can come and be a part of it. You get some inclusive benefits, some early access to drops. So every single night, similar to my merch drops, the night before a drop, the ambassadors get access to it. We also get exclusive merch. We might do some events in the future when we get enough people to show everyone come together at a, an event only for the ambassadors. And get a discount code, a code, chance to earn commission, chance to become an athlete in the future. A bunch of stuff compiled into being that. So I'm gonna put the link below for that. Calvin, do not forget to put the link in. We're gonna have to get that from Dan. But yeah, super cool doing that. Other than that, I'm heading to Chicago this weekend. Matt's heading to New Jersey this weekend. Calvin's taking care of the Watson this weekend. So, in God we trust that Calvin takes care of Watson properly. Because we all know I would murder him if anything happened to her. But yeah, so, that's kind of all I wanted to throw at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, all that other bullshit, and I'll see you guys later. I gotta keep strong. Got I gotta keep my head held. Good. I'm gonna always be an uphill battle. I'm always gonna wanna make it move.